What's good, YTBC? What's good, Fight Fans, Boxing Heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So this is my post-fight review for um, WBA Super Super Champion at Cruiserweight. Dennis Lebedev, 29-2 with 22 KOs. Versus Victor Emilio Ramirez. Victor Emilio Ramirez from Argentina is 22-3, and three, one draw, and 17 KOs. All right, so this fight was supposed to be on the undercard of um, Deontay Wilder versus Povetkin, but we already know what transpired in that um, with that situation between Le um, Povetkin and Wilder. So I guess this was the main event out there in Moscow, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this fight ain't really go too long, man, you know. The man, uh, it was a unification fight. You know, the man, um, Victor Emilio Ramirez, he became a uh, IBF interim champion when, um, what's his name? Juan, Juan, was it Juan, Juan Hernandez, the longtime champ. Uh, he was a Cuban. He was a longtime IBF champ at, um, at Cruiserweight. And I guess he retired. And um, the man, Victor Ramirez, he picked up the vacant belt. Against uh, Ofa Ofa Falabi, you know what I'm saying? Ola Falabi from Nigeria. The guy um, even retired, you know what I'm saying? So in this next fight, the man he became the interim champion at that particular time, you know what I'm saying? So he went on to fight um, what's his name? He went on to fight Orville McKenzie. You know, the Yardie, the the Jamaican guy who fights out of England, you know what I mean? Now, this man, Dennis Lebedev, he's been the champion there at um, Cruiserweight for a while, you know what I'm saying? Um, he went on to beat guys like, uh, you know, he's a, he has a good resume, man. Go look up, go look at Dennis Lebedev's resume, man. He has guys like uh, James Tony. He beat James Tony on his resume. He has guys like Roy Jones. He knocked out Roy Jones. In, the ten, in a 10 round a fight that Roy Jones was even winning. But he got caught and he got put to sleep out there in Russia. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he even fought guys like Marco Huck. You know what I mean? He's fought guys like Enzo Marcanelli. You check it. He has a good resume. You know what I mean? Latif Coyote. Um, he beat the other guy, Yari Kalenga, the cruiserweight from Congo, who's based out of France. So um, let me get into this fight, man. This fight ain't go too long. It only went two rounds. The man Dennis Lebedev was, um, you know, the man's a southpaw, and uh, he was using his his left hand all day. You know what I'm saying? He was occasionally throwing the jab to set up the left hand, but the left hand was finding a home all day because the man um, uh, Victor Ramirez, this guy, basically, you know, the guy in every fight I've seen him fight, he has a chin, man. But on this particular night, man, he was getting pounded by that left hand. As you can see even there in the picture, man, the man Dennis Lebedev got his left hand. He's ready to cock it and blast that man Ramirez, you know? You know what I'm saying? Um, the man, um, the first round, it only went two rounds. The first round, um, you know, they were boxing, you know. Um, wasn't too much action. Just some uh, occasional left hands that were finding a home when um, the man Ramirez He's a guy, his defense, he was getting real low, as in he was bending his back, you know, and he was putting himself when um, Lebedev sets it up with the right jab, and when the man, um, he sets up the punch with the right jab, the man Ramirez would bend bend low, and he'd, get, he'd be leaning into them left um, uppercuts, and Dennis Lebedev probably threw about 20 left uppercuts in this fight, you know what I mean? All because the man... Ramirez was presenting himself, you know, putting his head low so he can get caught, you know what I mean? So in the second round, man, the man, <laughs> that is Lebedev. But in the first round, the man, uh, Ramirez, did catch Lebedev with a right hook. You know, No, I'm sorry, a straight right hand. And um, he hit him in the body, like uh, on the upper body, like around the shoulder or the chest. And it did, you know, it did push that man Lebedev back. You know, something like uh, when Ricky Hatton fought Mayweather and he caught him with like a left a left hook, and it had that man Mayweather, you know, basically almost falling, falling back, you know, moving backwards, you know what I'm saying, and the rope say, helped him up. That was a, kind of the same thing with Lebedev, but in the second round, Lebedev went, uh, commenced to go AWOL on the guy, and he started punishing the guy with straight left hands, 
and he was just finding a home. The man was b bending low and he even knocked him down with a nice left uppercut, you know what I'm saying? That put Ramirez on the seat of his pants. And uh, the man got up and... You know, you could tell he had a glassy, glassy, glassy eye look in his look in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, he got up, and uh, the man Dennis Lebedev commenced to pounce on him. You know what I mean? He got him in the corner, and he was blasting him with uh, left hands and right hands, and even he hit him with the with the left hook. And it turned, and the man Ramirez basically turned his back. He looked like he was running, same way John Jackson did against uh, Jamel Charlo. You know what I'm saying? He turned his back. But this referee, you already know Steve Smoger. Steve Smoger, you can usually find him in the fights in the New Jersey area. Anytime you see a fight in Atlantic City, best believe Steve Smoger will be on, will be refing a fight on that card. You know what I mean? So he came all the way to Russia. You know what I'm saying? The um. You know what I'm saying? To referee this fight. And he let that man, Dennis Lebedev, commence to pounce on him, man. The man Lebedev caught him with vicious left hooks. Left hooks and not no counter punch in, in return from Victor Ramirez. You know what I'm saying? You know, truth be told, the Ramirez guy, man, I knew he'd lose this fight. He lost the fight, in my opinion, to Orville McKenzie. Orville McKenzie should have been the IBF champion that that night but you know the fight was in um he won the fight in my opinion but the fight was in argentina and there was no way the yardy from england was gonna get that decision in argentina so they gave him a draw you know what i mean but um lebedev he wasn't going for that he wanted to become the unified champion at uh cruiserweight so now he has the ibf strap and the wba strap at cruiserweight you know what i'm saying and he punished the man um Ramirez, man. Ramirez, like I said before, I thought this man Ramirez got a chin. But, um, hey, man, Dennis Lebedev was throwing some bombs, man. And uh, the man, uh, Steve Smoger, let him get punished. But eventually he finally jumped in there and stopped it because the man, as you can see in this particular frame, the man is low like that. He always is, is, is bending down low. He's in the way. He's in the path of that left hand by Dennis Lebedev. You know what I mean? So, you know, Dennis, Dennis Lebedev um, is the, the real champion, the super champion at um, um, at us Cruiserweight, you know what I'm saying? And uh, there was a fight out in um, between Dorticos. Dorticos, Yoniel Dorticos and Yari Kalenga. That was a fight I did a post-fight review on. And they were fighting for the interim champion, of uh, interim WBA belt, you know what I mean? And uh, the... the the man Babu Chubinov, he's the regular champion, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to look and he was supposed to be fighting yesterday on that car on that uh, card out of Las Vegas, you know what I mean? And uh yeah, he looks like he won. He got a guy named J Junior Anthony R Wright out. He TKO'd him in the tenth round. So, you know, the WBA is trying to make tournaments so they could have one champion and get rid of all the interim champion and regular champions. So I'm assuming the man um Dortico, since he beat Kalenga, uh, I'm assuming he's going to fight um, um, Bebu Chuminov. And the winner between Dortico's and uh, Bebu Chuminov gets to fight Dennis Lebedev. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's my video. That's my thoughts on this post-fight review. Um, Dennis Lebedev becomes a unified champion at Cruiserweight. He now has the IBF strap, and he already had his WBA strap. And... Um, you know, he's doing his thing, man. He's doing his thing up there at Cruiserweight, and he's probably the best guy right now in the division. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, that's my video. Um, Let me know what y'all thought about this fight. You know what I'm saying? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section, and uh, please hit that thumbs up if you like the video, and please subscribe. All right, y'all, be Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. One.